When Android Auto appears grayed out in your car, it signals a connection problem between your phone and the vehicle's infotainment system. This connection problem stems from several key factors. The most common causes include faulty USB connections, incorrect app permissions, software glitches, and compatibility issues between devices. USB connection problems are particularly common. Using a high-quality USB cable that supports data transfer is essential for a stable Android Auto connection. Recent developments highlight the importance of software updates. The February 2025 Pixel update fixed critical music playback issues that affected Android Auto functionality. Looking ahead, Google is integrating Gemini AI to replace Google Assistant in Android Auto. This advancement will provide enhanced voice command capabilities, making stable connections even more crucial for optimal performance. Understanding these root causes helps you identify whether the issue is hardware-related, software-related, or due to configuration problems. A stable connection forms the foundation for all Android Auto features to work properly. First, Verify that your car's infotainment system supports Android Auto and that the Android Auto app is installed and updated on your smartphone. Next, inspect your connection. If using USB, ensure you have a high-quality cable that supports data transfer and try different USB ports. For Bluetooth connections, make sure Bluetooth is turned on and paired correctly with your vehicle. Grant Android Auto all necessary permissions in your phone's settings. Navigate to Settings, Apps, Android Auto, then permissions. Clear the cache and data of the Android Auto app. Go to settings, apps, Android Auto storage, then clear cache and clear data. Restart both your smartphone and your car's head unit. This simple step often resolves connectivity issues. If problems persist, try reinstalling the Android Auto app and disable battery optimization for the app in your phone's settings. As a last resort, consider restoring your car's infotainment system to factory defaults. Tom's Guide recommends using phones with Android 11 and higher for optimal performance.